Hello everyone and welcome to 3D Toolkit. I'm Dan and today we're taking a look at the Sword of Sinew and Steel from the card game Magic the Gathering. Uh, these files I found on Thingiverse.com and they were provided by Techor17 so big thanks to them for providing these files. Uh, I printed these pieces out in PLA on my Prusa Mark III and there are 14 pieces in total. If we take a quick peek at one of these blade pieces, we can look that there is a top and a bottom, and there is actually a slot in here for proper registry for putting this together, which is really nice. And there's also a hole in the middle for each of the blades and a larger one for the handle for some wooden dowels to go in. Uh, public service announcement, if you're ever putting together some, uh, a bunch of prints that go together to make an assembly, Always make sure that you check your tolerances and take a look at the other items that you can buy separately first because I did not do that and spent the better part of an afternoon uh, sanding these dowels down to fit the parts. One quick and easy way to do this if you don't want to have to uh, touch the dowels themselves is to increase the size uh, of the actual parts in your slicer settings by maybe 5%. Try that out and then see if it needs more or less. Um, but these dowels are going to provide some nice support, especially since this whole piece, once fully assembled, should be around three feet long. Basic plan, we have all the pieces printed out already. Uh, I was a bit overzealous and already got those together before the dowels, and that's kind of how that happened. What we're going to do is put each of the blades together, and then also put the hilt and then the start of the blades together. Going to see if we can put some spot putty in between uh, the spots to make sure it doesn't even look like it's, you know, multiple pieces. We want it to look like one piece. We're going to sand that down, prime it, probably sand it again, and then we're going to use an airbrush to paint each of the individual pieces, assemble them together completely, and then maybe do some touch-up work with the paint to give us the final product. Uh, this is my first time doing a project this large, so if it turns out it's still needing a little bit of work, uh, that's okay. We're all here for the journey.
And there you have it. Our sword is now unofficially completely assembled. We have a little bit of work to do between now and the next episode. I got to take this back apart, sand it, and then most likely prime it. Then we're going to stick this together and look forward to the next video where we're going to be actually painting and applying the finer details and making this a really nice finished product. Hope to see you there. Take care.